In today's Clash Royale video, I'm gonna show you the best deck for the upcoming Royal Tournament. When you guys see the video, the Royal Tournament just went live, and I need to tell you guys, this meta is absolutely crazy. It's a ton of Electro Giant, and this is also a deck which I'm gonna show you today. This Electro Giant Gold Knight deck is the deck which I showed you recently, I think two days ago, with the Inferno. I personally, right now, in the meta against all the Electro Giants, I think it Tesla has a way better blame because, first of all, it's way cheaper, so you can cycle it easier. And second, it does way be better against Electro Giant because the damage is way more consistent. Also, it doesn't get reset by Lightning. If you guys don't want to miss any videos of future on channel, always want to know the best deck for the upcoming challenges. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to give a fat thumbs up on the video. And also, let me know some challenge ideas and also video ideas in the future in the comment section below. And also, thank you so much to everyone who's using my creator code Martin in the shop. And I would say, let's dive into games. I'm going to show you why this deck is the best deck for the upcoming Royal Tournament. Here we go, guys. You're in the first game, and I want show you the maximum power of this deck so i'm honestly just gonna tornado that it was actually a really bad horrible tornado let's go so having my golden on the map i'm just gonna rocket the prince immediately he plays a lock by deck we have all the counters we need so it's mostly gonna be rocket game especially because he's able to defend the electric giant really really cheaply with his card so all good um i'm just gonna go bomber here just gonna go bomber here. Um, Bomber's doing a pretty solid job. He is most likely gonna play his um, Goblin Brawl really, really soon. So I'm just gonna go for a lock. I'm actually playing a lock like this. Just to make sure we also hit the E Spirit. Going for Tornado here, killing the Princess. Um, I mean, he's in a small damage advantage. Lock does less damage on tower as it is before, uh, as it done before. So I think this is generally not too bad for me. Because most likely we're gonna use our lock on defense here on offense, so he's not able to cycle the lock as great as he can. So I'm just gonna go use my build here, push the the electric giant forward. I hopefully it goes on top of the oh. Okay, we got a connection on tower. Even like it didn't really do too much, and people would say, "Why are you overreacting to this play?" Um, because I don't care. So I'm just going for a bomber here. Bomb is hopefully gonna kill the princess immediately. Let's go. He is up by like. 50 damage, but I still now we are good, we are fine. And the good thing is, our wind punish is way more bad, or like way better to punish his rockets. If he's gonna cycle rocket my tower, I can just still go in for my lecture in the back. But so I'm just gonna go for my rocket like this. Let's see if he's also gonna rocket. He might. Um, yeah, he's just gonna rocket as expected, to be fair. Also, I think it's the right play. So I'm just gonna go for my uh, golden knight in the back. I'm just gonna go for my E giant now in the back, and I want to cycle two E giants. This is the plan. Also, NATO um, Golden Knight is just so effective, so I'm just gonna go for my lock here. Um, lock is coming down. Really good lock. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go for a tornado plus. Oh, Golden Knight gets on tower. This is huge. I'm just go for skeletons like this. Okay, skeletons are not coming down in time. That's really unfortunate. So I need to go for my lock like this. Really good lock. I must go for a golden knight in case he goes in for a lock on top of the bomber. But still, I think it was still worth it. I'm gonna go play my um, rocket like this. I'm going in for my tornado just to kill the inferno. Might get a dash on tower. No, we do not. I'm just gonna go for bomber immediately because he might go prince at the bridge. So I'm just gonna go for a lock here. Oh, actually, that was really close. Like, almost we didn't hit the tower. Um, or, like, not the barrel. So I'm just gonna go for my skeletons here. Need to go Golden Knight now. And gonna wait now. Let's see what he does. I was gonna use my ability now. We're actually getting on tower, which is not too bad. I'm just gonna for my Tesla like this. Okay, didn't really expect that to happen. So I have my rocket. I can still lock the tower in case he goes and prints at the bridge. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go rocket here. Just go skulls like this. I'm just gonna take the lock on offense this time. And I don't know if this is enough, actually. I don't really think it's enough. So... What I'm gonna do right now is just gonna uh, nado this away and rocket the tower. Now I think this won't be enough. Like he could go for well, for Princess plus rocket, but this is GG's well played. This is how you beat Lock by straight up rocket cycle. Maybe get a Golden Knight tornado combination because this comp uh, this push is is. I mean I don't really want to say basically, but it's undefendable. You cannot defend Golden Knight tornado. I think it's like the only real card combination which you cannot defend. You always take damage. Doesn't matter how you play your defense out. Here we go, guys. Next game against Regin. I don't really know how to pronounce his name to be fair, but just gonna chill. I don't really have the best starting hand to be fair, so I don't really want to do anything. I could go for a Tesla now. Because he doesn't play anything, and I don't really want to wait. I don't really feel comfortable just waiting straight up. So he goes in 
for his Barbarian Hut. So seeing a Barbarian Hut is always sad because Barbard is most likely the worst card in Clash Royale. So I hope you guys aren't gonna face it, but it counts as a Lecture Child. So this might be the reason why some people start playing this. Um, um, so I'm just going for Skeletons here. Oh, he also has Zephys. Great. Good to know, good to know. So my Barpart does a pretty, um, not the Barpart, uh, just go for a Electric Giant Kite here. Just go for a Bomber like this. Okay, sir. So I'm just gonna go use my ability like this. Log like that. I don't know, like hopefully this works out that we're not gonna t like get too much damage on, or like take too much damage. And it still gets some damage. So I'm just gonna use my Golden Knight Dash here on tower. The Electric Giant will actually get it. And also our Bomber will get another shot. Hopefully no. But almost. So I'll just go for my Tesla here. Tesla's coming down. Tesla's doing a pretty good job. I mean, how are we supposed to break through, right? This is going to be the big crash. And this looks like a really bad matchup. But we will still make it work, hopefully. So I'm just gonna go for my Log here. Like this. Log is coming down. Um, I would say it was a pretty solid defense. It's like just as, as I said before, the question is how we're we gonna break through. If he goes in for a bar part, I might just rocket the tower. Um, because like my only chance to break through. So I think my play is right now just going for a rocket here. Because there's nothing else I can do. And I'm just going for my skeletons here. And I'm just gonna drop my golden knight straight up in the bag. So Okay, I might just also use my each side on defense, even dumb, it uh, sounds pretty dumb. Um, going for this. Going in for my dash here. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my log. Um, okay. Just go for E-Giant like this. Really solid E-Giant to be fair. Just like, just like to tank and kill all the tubes from his side. Uh, I'm just gonna go in for my another Tesla like this. He might play Hoggies now. No, he goes in for another Barbarian. I'm just gonna wait here until I have 10 elixir and we're going for another rocket. This is like how I win this game. It's pretty dumb, but this is how I win the game. So I need to go for a log on tower. Going in for this. Let's go for a tornado. And rocket is doing enough with log. So I'm just gonna go rocket. I don't know how we won this. I don't know how we won this, but it was actually crazy play. He has all he had all the cards that he needed. But it's a good thing. You just not have the Electro Giant Civic Cushion. You also have the Rocket. This worked out perfectly. GG's. We all played. Here we go, guys. Next game. We're actually facing Pedal when he's playing the Pedal deck. <laughs> he's only winning this one deck. So I'm just going for my Bomber like this. Um, Skeletons. Okay, 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 okay. Um, okay, I'm just going to Golden Knight like this. Tornado like that. And now I'm just gonna go lock. Perfect king to activation. No damage. I'm a happy guy. So going for my golden knight dash now. Okay. Bomber like this. Okay, skeletons like this. Nado like that. So he could go wall breaker at two at the bridge, which he's doing. So he gets a connection, but. I think honestly his deck is like a really aggressive deck. As you guys can see, he's just spamming every single card at the bridge. So we want to play passive, you want to control the game. I need to tell you guys, sometimes like the meta from gold tournaments or royal tournaments and ladder is really, really different. But currently with the new balance change, I feel like the most pros or the most players will just copy the best decks out of ladder and will use them in the royal tournament. There are going to be some counters of each giant, but as you guys were seeing, it's just absolutely, absolutely, absolutely crazy that you guys see the stack um, around and like even for plus all the cards you still have a rocket and rocket does so much damage and lock is still so good as expected um okay i'm just gonna go for my ability here let's get a dash on top of that let's go just make sure to kill that okay good connection let's go for my bomber like this I'm just go lock really good lock actually gave me a bit too much lock value in my mind i don't know why he did that so I'm having my Golden Knight soon again and my E-Giant. I think it's the main push I need to do. Just go Tesla like this. Tesla is putting in a control. We need, and I might just go and form my Electric Giant at the bridge and use the ability. Just like absolutely crazy play and a great tip for you guys. So E-Giant here. Broma. And actually I'm just going to use this. So what I'm going to do right now is just going to go tornado all of this together. He uses his duel on defense, which is fine for me. Actually, it was a pretty solid defense. Good job, sir. Going for my lock here. Um, okay. 
Please defend this. No, it's not working out yet. Okay, the drill on defense is really messing up our situation. So let's see what he does against. He's just gonna go ghost. Ghost comes late. So just need to go for E-Giant like this. Okay, just go for this. Okay. Let's see, what is his next play going to be? Um Okay, I'm just gonna go for tornado this. Let's go, go tornado. Um, Broma, Golden Knight, Tesla like this, good Tesla, and I might just go in for my Electro Giant in front, I think this is still a pretty decent Electro Giant, um, let's go for Log like this, really good Log also, can we maybe get a connection now, we do get the E-Giant on tower for one, oh, Broma actually gets a splash, Okay, what I'm gonna do right now is just go golden. I like this at the bridge, and I'm just go pressure him with another E giant here. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my golden knight ability here for one elixir. It's completely worth it, and I'm just gonna go use my tornado. We actually okay, we we, oh, we missed, but it wasn't too bad. So, um, okay, that was actually horrible played. Really well played, but I need to go for a lock here. Just go with Golden Knights, Skeletons like this. Okay, I'm just going for Skeletons, uh, for the ability like this, okay. Going for a ladder like the on the right side. Okay. Okay, Nado like this, Rocket like that. Skeletons. I don't really know this is gonna. I don't really think it's gonna work. Okay, I thought like actually the matchup would have been better, but Evap's mini pack are actually true, really, really solid counters. So he played it pretty well. We're just gonna continue. We just hope nobody else is playing a deck like him. Here we go, guys. Next game against Alex C. Uh, good luck to him. And we just go for skeletons in the back. He just drops a zap. So normally I would say it's not a smart play to go E Giant first, but because, because he has zap and he might play Sparky, we're just gonna do it. Okay, he goes in for e Elixir Collector. Like, sir! Where is my golden knight to push the E giant into the tower? Okay, I could have rocketed both. That's actually dumb, but it's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna wait here. I think he could have barbed. Hello. Oh, what the heck, dude? He has Mura, Sparky Mura. You love to see. That. Okay, I need to go for Tesla now. So actually, that was a really bad start. <laughs> I just went like Sparky Mirror. So if he has Giant now, I think I lost. Um, I don't know. I don't think I can defend this. So I'm just gonna go in for my Bomber like this. Um, okay, I'm just gonna use my ability like that. Really good ability actually. We actually defended this. I don't know how we did that, but we did. So I'm proud of myself. Um, Okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. Um, he just gonna zap this. If he goes in for pump, I think I need to rocket this. Even if it's a minus one elixir trade. Um, I mean, the thing is, like, he's just gonna mirror the pump, right? Um, so, if, I mean, the good thing is Tesla. I don't know if he has a spell. So, if he has, like, arrows or something. Okay, he, had, he doesn't have arrows because he had just zap. Or you just used zap. So, hmm. The question is like, when do we use the uh, the rocket on the pump? When we use the pile, the rocket on the mirror pump, or on the sparky, or on the mirror sparky? This is like the question we need to ask ourselves. So, um, Tesla, bomber. Okay, what the heck is this? Can you stop playing barbarian, sir? Okay, just go Electro Giant like this. Electro Giant is coming down. This is great. I'm also gonna lock this. I think this is a good lock. Okay, let's see. Do we get the Electro Giant on tower for one shot? Do we? Yes, we do. So I'm just going for Tesla here. I don't know if he's going in. Okay, actually it does. I'm just going for Skeleton soon. Okay. This just go for my golden knight here. Actually, the Sparky gets one shot on tower, but I think this is even it sounds pretty dumb. I think this is a fine, pl uh, fine Tesla like this. Okay, the Tesla was actually really bad. <laughs> okay, um, lock this back. 
Okay. Skeletons. Golden Knight. Tesla. Okay, I'm just gonna go lock this away. Nado this away. Okay, Doki. Um. Hmm. Okay, that's actually a yeah, one shot, is good. Um, I'm just gonna go E Giant on the right now. Also go Bomber and Skeletons. And he most likely drops Barbs or something, so I can just go uh, now on the opposite lane. I must go for a tornado like this. Oh, what a tornado! We get the E Giant uh, on tow. We also, what was this pump, sir? Why are you playing a pump like that in this situation? That was actually horrible. He just threw the game. I can just go in for my Bomber like this. Get off me! Okay, get off! I'm just gonna go rocket here and I'm just gonna murder or like play skulls on top of that against the murder minion. GG's well played. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys don't want to miss any of the future, always one of the best challenge decks in the future. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you give fat bumps up. But make sure to use Craig and Morton if you guys want to support me more with them out. Thanks for watching and goodbye, guys.